true immortality is being remembered. And, you know, you talked about Julius Caesar is a reason you, you know, that person also, he could have been forgettable. I don't know the space between that immortality and forgettableness for me or anybody really. Um, because think of the, you know, 50,000 years of modern human history that for about at least 40 of those, we have no idea who any of those people were at all. And then you walk into a cave painting and you see someone's palm print. And you know, that guy or gal is immortal forever until we forget that cave or right away, you know, lose that history. They live forever. So I'm looking to leave a piece behind that maybe one day somebody bumps into and thinks that's pretty cool. That's about it, you know? Fingerprints and, you know, the cave painting, the handprint on a wall. Like, I don't need my name in lights. I don't need to be a con or a Julius Caesar. I, I really don't need, I mean, like talking about my biases and being aware of them, it's not for me. It doesn't, doesn't get me up in the morning. But the idea of leave, leaving a palm print hidden in a room that no one's gonna see and then suddenly they do and they ask questions about it and they think it's fucking cool and they're fascinated um, and they cherish it and they value it or some do. Uh, that's cool, that's really cool. I mean, I, I'd probably be cool if I was like one of those bog people dug up and they could figure out what I ate for dinner the night before. That's another level of immortality, right? You're, that there, there are questions being asked and curiosity. You know, like Julius Caesar or the bog guy, the guy had his, hand on a cave they're all dead they don't matter anymore really but they have ripples you know julius is a little bit bigger stone thrown in the pond um than the other two but they still ripple they have effect and i think that's the other side of it having some kind of effect doesn't really matter how big it is to me i just want to have an effect i want to matter i think that's another way of saying it a lot of people confabulate fame with mattering or, or wealth with mattering. And, you know, because I think we all seek meaning, you know, we all want to know why we're here. Um, you know, for me, I just want people to remember me fondly, you know, have good stories to tell. Um, but that's just, again, I like the romance. To me, that's romantic. You know, I like this. I also prefer the small room. I don't want to be uh, someone who's being thrown up on stage and lionized and showered with accolades. I like, I'd rather be in the small room of people I respect uh, who treat me like an equal. That's cool. That I got, <laughs> you know, there's more to do. And also now I can open my own door. You know, if I, and I'm like relatively early in that process of my life, but let other people into my room who are creative who are cool, who are interesting, have something to say. Um, I also have a really, I am, I am gifted in, uh, as much as I have my own biases, I'm incredibly approachable. Like my approachability to strangers, to people I know or don't know that well, I'm just easy going like that. I'm very like, I'm not Midwestern, but like that Midwestern just hanging out and chilling. Um, I don't have this expectation of awesomeness or that someone should come to me on bent knee and you know then i'll talk to them i'll die i'll deign to speak to you um because you never know maybe you know they might be cool you know, it might be fun and if it isn't you can leave <laughs> you know?